Uh, my trip to the falls, I've been <clears throat> looking into a couple of people that uh, say if someone asked me who are my two favorite minds or two favorite personalities that ever existed as far as adventurers or whatever else, I would say that probably the two most significant men uh, of intelligence we, we would say were Albert Einstein and the often uh, not talked about enough uh, who changed pretty well the course of all history, Nikola Tesla which he was kind of ignored by the history books for a long, long time. My purpose in going to Niagara Falls was partly because of Tesla, because uh, of all the work that Tesla did and accomplished there by viewing the falls, etc. And as for Albert Einstein, he was a well-liked fellow, well-known. He's, he's quoted as saying, Why is it that nobody understands me and everybody likes me? That's from an interview from the New York Times of 12 March 1944. Um, and uh, because he he was became fascinated with the world around him, just as a result of the fact that his dad gave him this compass, it sort of um, made an impression on his mind. Now the questions that have been asked are like, that's uh, the question I have to ask too is, uh, and Einstein probably asked was, does the universe run like clockwork? And then of course the speed of light, um, how do light waves travel through space? How did Einstein find out all about uh, and, uh, quantum? And his theory of the phytoelectric effect, uh, the existence of atoms, molecules, special relativity, his theory on special relativity, his ideas of time, uh, explaining the Lorentz Fitzgerald contraction, space time, E equals MC squared, how did Einstein fit gravity into, into relativity, uh, what does Einstein say gravity is, how did an eclipse move, um, 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 why didn't Einstein's relativity theory win the Nobel Prize, what was his greatest blunder, in life? these are some of the things. Uh, relatively leading to a big bang and on on does God play dice we've heard that and the theory of course everything which everybody really wants to know Einstein was born on the 14th of March 1879 that's when he was born in a place called Ulm Germany that's spelled U-L-M he was the first child of Hermann and Pauline Einstein a Jewish couple he didn't ever think much in words, he said uh, in an interview. Uh, thought comes in and I may try to express it in words afterwards. I've often thought what well, if, uh, if Hitler hadn't hated the Jews, hadn't wanted to eradicate the Jews, he would have had probably uh, Einstein's mind to figure out things, um, how to build a bomb. Of course, that was later given to the Americans, that knowledge. Uh, Einstein gave the knowledge and the Americans used it in, against Hiroshima, Japan. And put an end to that war, but really did a mess in Hiroshima. Um, anyway, so uh, these are going to be like sh very short little uh, talks about Einstein, and of course I'm going to go into Nikola Tesla too, as well. Now according to records, I see that Einstein started his primary education at Catholic school in Munich. And... Um, and what's of significance of Einstein? Well, um, in 1905, he submitted his doctoral thesis as um, a new determination of molecular dimensions to the university in Zurich. It was accepted in July. It was the start of a remarkable outpouring of ideas. And since it's, it's changed everything as well as the thinking in science, it's pretty profound stuff. I suppose I should give you a list of Einstein's achievements uh, in 1905. So I've got a list here. Number one was on a heuristic point of view concerning the production and transformation of light. He completed that on the 17th of March. Uh, this is the paper on light, quanta, and the photoelectric effect that eventually won him the Nobel Prize in Physics and was produced before he wrote his PhD thesis.
Number two, a new determination of molecular dimensions is completed on the 30th of April. His doctoral thesis, which became the paper of Einstein's that was most often quoted in modern scientific literature. Number three, on the motion required by the molecular kinetic theory of heat of particles suspended in fluids at rest, submitted 11th of May. This was Einstein's Brownian motion paper and followed on from his thesis work. Number four, on the electrodynamics of moving bodies, submitted June 30th. This was the first paper on special relativity. Number five, does the inertia of a body depend upon its energy content, submitted 27th of September. The second paper on special relativity containing the famous E equals MC squared equation. Number six, on the theory of Brownian motion, submitted the 19th of December, a follow-up uh, to his earlier paper on Brownian motion. 1906, Einstein was promoted to technical expert, to uh, technical expert, uh, second class at the patent office. Is, uh, um, and it says, uh, in his first application in 1907 for a professor, professional position at the University of Bern was turned down in early 1908. However, he was successful and gave his first lecture at the end of the year. Deciding that he wanted to devote his life to science, Einstein resigned his position at the patent officer in October 1909, and that same month began work as an adjunct professor of theoretical physics at the University of Zurich. And he was offered a chair at the German University in Prague in 1911. He accepted, but returned to Switzerland after a year to take up a professional position at the Zurich Polytechnic. And they were impressed uh, by what Einstein achieved. The physicist Max Planck, uh, um, 1858 to 1947, yeah, offered him a professional position without any actual teaching responsibilities at the Berlin University and make him a member of the Prussian Academy of Sciences and head of the Plan Kaiser Wilhelm Institute of Physics. Einstein accepted, and he, and he took his family to Berlin in 1914. Now, you can read all about his marriages and all these things. Didn't go so well in his career. And he also did suffer some ill health uh, from 1917 to 1920. He was pretty weak, and he was nursed by his cousin Elsa. Nineteen oh nine and nineteen sixteen, Einstein was hard at work on the general theory of relativity, and it, this, I don't know how many people know much about this theory, but uh, it's pretty popular now. But a lot of people might be the ABCs. So, um, one view of this, the theory of relativity, uh, was its prediction that the light from a distant star would be bent by the gravity field of a massive body such as the sun. Of course, that was confirmed, his theory, the foundation of general theory of relativity, in 1919 by the British scientist Arthur Eddington, who uh, saw that Einstein's predicted bending of starlight near the sun during a total eclipse. J.J. Uh, Thompson, president of the Royal Society, declared it the most important result related to the theory of gravitation since the days of Newton. It's one of the greatest achievements of human thinking. So, Einstein had a pretty, uh, looks like he had a pretty good future. Uh, except for World First World War, uh, pass, uh, Einstein was a uh, pacifist. He, he spoke publicly for pacifism. He, uh, of course, his, the response to that wasn't very nice. There's kind of ho a lot of hostility. And um, it wasn't really something accepted. So they wanted, they really wanted to get rid of Einstein at one point too, but the general theory of relativity had placed Einstein very much on the public stage, and honors from all over the world, etc. Not to uh, forget or to mention or to, uh, the actual anti-Semitism that was taking place in Germany at that point. Even uh, they say uh, German Nobel laureates or. Uh, showed a lot of hostility towards Einstein, and they wanted a German physics, not a Jewish physics. 
This reminds me a little bit of uh, the Protestant reformer uh, Martin Luther, who eventually allowed Jews to stay if they were converted, but he was trying to force conversion of Jews. Of course, Hitler's final solution was to get rid of Jews altogether. There's a lot to that. We'll talk about that sometime. Anyway, that's, uh, that's enough for now. That's a little bit of the background of history. Now, this is the first part of Albert Einstein. We're going to go into this, and uh, we're going to uh, talk about Nikola Tesla as I show you the falls. Uh, so let's just consider this part one, a little bit of Einstein, a little back, background on Einstein, and we're also going to look into Nikola Tesla. And we're going to talk about black holes and all the rest of it. So, so this is because it's the first part, little talk. So if you're interested in these little talks, you can continue to listen and watch. And we'll stop the first part here and go to two later. So check for that.